everyone. Happy Earth Day. How are you doing? Are you out there hugging a tree and enjoying nature? I love this holiday. This is my absolute favorite holiday of the year. And no doubt, right, my dry, my um, license plate says Eco Girl. So, you know, that's just the way it is. I've I've been an Eco Girl since high school and I am just so thrilled to be celebrating Earth Day again this year. Well, it's extra special this year and I'm kicking off a series called From Earth Day to Launch Day. And my book, Finding Eco Happiness, is launching out to the world on Tuesday, May 3rd. And so from today, Earth Day, until launch day, I'm gonna come live with, uh, with to you with some tips and some um, pieces from the book and um, also a bit about the children's book that goes hand in hand with this parenting book. And I'm just so excited to share with you. So today I wanted to start with the ending, okay? Because the ending is a big part of why I'm doing this. I have been an environmentalist for a very long time. And like in my conclusion of my book, I tie the importance of the connection between nature and mental health with saving the planet. So I wanted to read a little excerpt of the conclusion uh, for you today to give you a little peek into why this is so important. This is beyond our health and wellness. It's also the health and wellness of our planet, which of course impacts not only us as humans, but everything that's living and many future generations, of course, as well. So let me start here, okay? The details of the numerous nature activities highlighted throughout this book are simply stepping stones to reach the ultimate result, however. This nature habit you have started to build for your family does so much for you, your children, and beyond. By turning to nature, we can improve our mental health, our communities, and our planet. My goal is to open your eyes to the tremendous ways that nature can help us thrive. Now that you know how beneficial nature is to your family's well-being, will you try to save it? I mean, that's what today is all about, right? It is ironic that nature is ready and willing to provide us with the solution to help us feel more joyful, positive, and energetic. But we do not always treat our natural environment with the admiration and respect that it deserves. We are facing multiple threats to our environment from climate change to plastic pollution to overdevelopment, among other catastrophes. While this book focuses on how nature improves our children's mental health, there is a much larger picture to consider. The next step beyond recognizing nature's healing power is to protect it for the future. If the local park turns into a shopping center, where will your children play? If the nearby lake or river fills with garbage, how will your kids swim and fish? If habitats are ruined, how will our children ever experience the awe and pleasure of watching various species of birds fly in the sky? In essence, how we treat our natural environment is a reflection of how we treat ourselves, our, our children, and all living things. And this impacts all our happiness. And that, folks, is what Finding Eco Happiness is all about. And so I encourage you to hop on over to your favorite bookstore, Amazon, Bookshop, IndieBound, Barnes & Noble, Walmart, Target, it's out there everywhere. Um, if you wanna also recommend it to your local library, you can do that. It's already appearing in many libraries throughout the country. Uh, you can just re go on to your local library's um, website and they usually have a form where you can enter your library card uh, number and then request any book you know that you want. So be sure to request Finding Eco Happiness or you can give them a call. So again, get your copy. There's nothing better than celebrating Earth Day today than with a good book that's gonna help you build a nature habit to have all year and throughout your whole life for your whole family every day of the year. So let's celebrate Earth Day every day. All right, I'll be coming to you again tomorrow with some more tips and tricks uh, for eco-happiness.
Have a great one. Go outside and hug a tree. I'm, I'm heading out for a walk right now with my son.